Yo, what's up guys? It's Retro and the Kai's Cat. You're on the Real News Talk channel. Rate, comment, subscribe. This video that I wanted to talk about today is um, Saturday's member, Vanessa White, who's currently working <clears throat> on her own projects and stuff like that. Um, her album. She's pretty much doing her own thing at the moment. And I know she's been for a lot since the group went on a supposed hiatus as well. But she was asked one time, this came across my mind. She was asked if she if she if she would ever go back to the Saturdays if they were to reunite someday. And she was like, she has no desire to return to the Saturdays. So because she feels more comfortable doing her own thing, because she's now independent, as some of you may know already, and she's no longer with the major company. You know, ever since the Saturdays uh did their own thing. And they're currently doing their own thing right now. But something triggered me when she was interviewed. When she was asked about the industry and stuff like that. She said that a lot of people in the industry who you think are all perfect and everything. Smiling and whatnot. Deep down inside they're very, very miserable. They are more miserable than you think. And there's a lot of shady people behind the scenes too. Even within your, the people who you work with too. But she didn't reveal the whole thing. But I know she wanted to do. But she said that she couldn't. Due to legal reasons. And if she did she would be in serious trouble. So I think she was trying to expose the Illuminati. Indirectly. But she quickly uh, retracted herself. And just encrypted. What she was saying basically. So she hinted that. What she's trying to say is that. There's a lot of fuckeries going on. And you have to do a lot of things. In order to make it in the industry. You know what I'm saying. You not you don't just enter the industry like that that and become famous overnight. No, 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 no. It doesn't matter what type of talent you have. If you're very talented, you could sing, act, dance, or whatever talent you may have. You have to do a lot of things in order to gain success and gain popularity and notice from people around the world. Why do you think people like Justin Bieber, Jay Z, Rihanna, Beyonce, and all these other motherfuckers? How do you think they? Got so big because they had to do a lot of shady shit that they had to sell their motherfucking soul to Lucifer, the devil himself, you know what I'm saying? In cold blood. That's what they had to do. That's why they're so fucking popular. And that's what Vanessa White was trying to say. But obviously she she didn't say that, but indirectly she was trying to say that. You know what I mean? Because she knows the business. She's been in the business for over a decade now. So she knows how them people run. You know what I'm saying? So maybe that's why she is taking her career in another direction. She's currently doing her things independently. She's doing things her way. And she she's happy that she has more control over her work and her art craft and everything. Because I believe when she was part of the Saturday, she wasn't 100% fully happy. And I could tell by... Her facial expression as well as like she tried so hard to stay professional but I could see that you know that sadness in her you know what I'm saying she wasn't really really happy within the group even though she had a good times with the group and she gets along with them more I hope well maybe she does or maybe she has a few minor problems with the group I don't know but most of the time she wasn't really happy. I know she had like a health scare as well. Um, during her time in the group and everything. And she was under a lot of pressure. So maybe she wasn't happy with where she was at the time. But since the Saturdays departed from each other. At least temporarily. You know, I don't know if it will lead to a permanent split. Or I'm not too sure. Depending on, on the circumstances then. What goes on in their individual lives but you know she's more happy within this with, with the position that she's in right now because she can do her own thing and she the people that's around her currently she's a lot more happier with them because she's independent like I said and she don't have people telling her how to do this how to do that how to sing rare 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 how to you know, you know what I'm saying? You get my drift. So that's why she feels more relaxed. And I could see in her interview as well. She she feels so relaxed. She just um, said how she felt in, in an encrypted way. 
and she just left it at that. Who knows? But a part of me feels that she's trying to expose what's been exposed already. And that's the Illuminati. Call me a conspiracy theorist. Or think what you want by the end of the day. The way that I feel about it, you know, is that she's trying to expose the Illuminati for what they really are. You understand what I'm saying? So, at the end of the day, Vanessa White, me personally, I don't see her rejoining the Saturdays. I know she bucked up with them during Molly King's 30th birthday celebration and that, but that was about it. I know she bucks up with them from time to time and whatnot, but at the same time, it's non work related. It's just a gathering, you know what I'm saying? I'm sure she's cool with all the members on the Saturdays because she's been with them for so long, so they've kind of you know, have they kinda of have that solid bond already, but at the same time, people grow apart and when you grow apart end of the day, you it just it just won't be the same anymore. So I believe one day she will expose them. She will expose the, 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 the truth behind the industry and why she's doing what she's doing and why if she doesn't join the Saturday she will explain why and reveal everything. But at the end of the day it all comes with a price and if she does expose them then wow, what could I say? But I know she would probably be on the hit list if she were to do that. But it depends on how brave she is to actually pull the trigger, you know what I mean? But we'll just wait and see if she ever does expose them in the future. Um, on the side note, she recently broke up with her boyfriend, who she's been with for six years as well. I forgot, I forgot his name, I can't remember. Don't really care to know, but yeah, she broke up with him after being together for six years. They decided to call it quits due to uh, Vanessa White's busy schedule and everything. I heard that um, Vanessa White was granted something. That was why she split from her boyfriend. I'm not too sure. But she was given something um, based on her music career as well. So that could be the reason. I'm not sure. Just to let you know, if, you, if you're not aware already, Vanessa White is currently single after being in a six-year relationship. But they currently remain friends and have respect for each other. So that's good. But I believe Vanessa White is and was the underrated person in the group. The Saturday, she was like the underdog. She was very, very underrated. And currently she... She's exploring her real true talent. The girl can sing. I've heard her sing. And that, and ever since she's made solo tracks. And um, her album as well. The real her just came out. And when you hear Vanessa White talk. You know. You're just stunned. You know what I'm saying. Because when she was part of the Saturday. She never really said much. Until you know. But when you hear her talk. You know you're surprised. Because the thing is with most quiet people is that they get underestimated a lot because you think that they, that person's quiet, they're not capable of saying such things and they can't really articulate their words really, really well. But you'd be surprised when they open their mouth and say the things that you never expect them to say. You know why? It's because some of these people, you know, I'm kind of like that as well. You know what I'm saying? Some of these people like to observe their surroundings before they lay their peace in. So they just wait to see if they can add something to the table, you know what I mean? So that's why some people are just quiet and observant and very, very selective with, with what they say and when to speak and whatnot. And Vanessa White is that type of person. Cause I can see right through her, you know what I mean? So she's doing well for herself and I hope she does well with her solo career Everything's going smoothly for her at the moment. But if the Saturdays were to reunite somewhere down the line, will she ever return? I don't know. But if she doesn't, then, you know, whether 
she remains friends with them and they respect her decision for wanting to do her own thing or it could lead to some sort of potential feud and conflict, you know what I'm saying? But who knows? We just have to wait and see. And will she ever expose the real thing? Well, that remains to be seen. But that's all I wanted to say about the lovely, gorgeous and sexy Vanessa White. So rate, comment, subscribe, follow me on Twitter, Retronic Ice Cat. Subscribe to my other channel, Mr. Ice Cat, where I cover random videos and whatnot. So until my next video, take care, stay blessed, keep it real. Peace.